Stop. If you're considering financing the purchase of your solar power system, then you need to watch this video first because I'm going to be teaching you six key questions that you need to ask your solar salesman before you sign the contract. This video is sponsored by Climate First Bank, a provider of financing options for solar projects. Visit our website to explore our loan programs. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about six key questions that you need to ask your solar salesman before you sign a solar contract. And the first question is very simply, what are the specific components that you're going to be using? Make and model. Now, a lot of times solar is sold in a very generic manner. Um, a lot of these solar sales agreements are very vague as far as specific equipment to be used. It's not uncommon to just say, well, we're gonna give you an eight kilowatt solar system and this should lower your monthly payment by approximately $150 per month. Uh, and unfortunately, that's a lot of how things are done this way. It's, it's a very low information, high pressure sale where the homeowner doesn't really understand what they're getting. So you wanna make sure that your solar agreement specifically lists what make and model of solar panels. It should be the company name, the model, as well as the, the, the power rating, the wattage rating on the solar panel, as well as what inverter are you going to be getting or what, what model microinverter are you going to be getting. And you want to make sure that you're getting a microinverter or an inverter that can properly handle uh, the amount of DC power coming off the solar panel that will be feeding into that inverter, right? So if you're using a 400 watt solar panel, for example, you're gonna want a, an inverter or a micro inverter that I would say no less than 300 watts of AC output power. Um, that's a whole nother subject we can discuss on a different video, but you wanna make sure that the solar panel, the inverter is sized properly to the solar panel. Uh, and then any other major components that be, might, might be part of the system. Uh, if you're doing battery storage, of course, make sure you understand exactly which make and model battery you're going to be getting, as well as what's the power rating and what's the storage capacity. All right, the second question that you have to ask is, what is the actual contract price or what is the contract amount? Uh, again, you'd be surprised on how vague some solar systems are sold. A lot of times it's just sold on a bill swap. We're going to reduce your electric bill from 300 a month and we're gonna give you a $200 a month solar payment without actually disclosing what the actual contract amount is um, or that you're taking out a loan for financing. So make sure that your agreement clearly states what is the total amount that you're gonna be borrowing, what's the total amount that the contractor is going to be paid, and ultimately, what is this total amount that you're going to be on the hook as the homeowner to pay back, either by, by making monthly payments over the entire term of the agreement, uh, or if you wanna pay it off early, you wanna know exactly what that payoff amount is. All right, now the third question that you wanna ask is, what is the price if I pay cash for the system? Now, why would the cash price for the system be different than the total contract amount or the total loan amount? And the reason is dealer fees. Now, I know that dealer fees are part of the solar financing equation that oftentimes us in the industry, we don't like to talk about. So what are these dealer fees? These are fees charged by the financial institutions to the solar installers, and then the solar installers pass these fees along to customers in the form of a higher price. Now, oftentimes these dealer fees are not disclosed, and it could increase the cost of your solar project by 20, 30%, even 40% in some cases. But in many cases, if you look at your solar proposal, the homeowner thinks they're only paying for parts and labor, not realizing that the cost of those parts and labor have been inflated to cover the cost of the dealer fees that the financing company is charging to your solar contractor. Now, of course, you also need to consider what is the rate of interest that you're paying on the solar system. Uh, of course, you wanna check the interest rate as well as the APR. A lot of times the effective APR can be slightly higher than the interest rate if there are any additional bank fees or expenses that are added on to the regular interest expense. So make sure that you check the interest rate and the APR. Now, oftentimes the way it works is the higher the dealer fees that you're willing to pay, the lower the interest rate or the lower the APR that you're gonna get on your loan. So there is a little bit of a trade-off here in terms of does it make sense to buy down the interest rate by paying a higher dealer fee um, oftentimes, it's going to be a trade-off between getting a low monthly payment and lower interest long-term versus getting a lower purchase price and therefore a much lower payoff price um, if you choose to pay that system off early before the, the 25 or the 30-year term. However, there are some lenders out there that offer you low interest rates with no dealer fees. 
which is a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Climate First Bank. Today's video is brought to you by Climate First Bank. If you're looking for a solar financing partner that offers competitive rates, no dealer fees, and a simple online application process, then you need to take a look at Climate First Bank. Climate First Bank is committed to ethical solar financing with full transparency, competitive interest rates, no dealer fees, no prepayment penalties, and a secure online application process. You can shop confidently knowing that Climate First vets its contractors, verifying licensing, insurance, warranties, and financial statements. Apply directly on the Climate First Bank website and you'll be matched with an approved installer in your area. So if you're ready to start your renewable energy journey with a financing partner you can trust, then go directly to climatefirstbank.com surge so you can get matched with an approved installer in your area right away. Thank you, Climate First Bank, for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, the fourth question that you need to ask is, do the numbers on your proposal assume that I'm going to be receiving the full 30% investment tax credit? Now, as many of you know who have been following the channel for a while, here in the United States, the federal government offers a 30% renewable energy tax credit, which basically means 30% of your total system purchase price would be returned to you in the form of a tax credit, reducing your tax bill. But it's not guaranteed that everybody is eligible for the credit or eligible for the full amount. For example, if your income is not high enough or if your income is not taxable. Uh, I've seen cases where people are on social security disability or perhaps service disabled veterans collecting military disability and the income is just not taxable or, or not taxable enough for them to claim the full value of the tax credit. Uh, of course, if you already have other deductions and tax credits that take away from your taxable liability, you may not be able to take advantage of the solar tax credit as well. So make sure that you consult your tax professional, show them the paperwork as far as the solar system proposal to see how much of the credit you'd be eligible for so that you can make a fully informed decision. All right, now the fifth question you need to ask is, are you NABCEP certified? NABCEP stands for the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. And essentially, this is the, the, the technical certifying body for the solar and the renewable energy industry. Now, this goes beyond just basic contractor licensing and electrician licensing. It deals with the technical skills specific to the solar and renewable energy industry, things like photovoltaics and battery storage. So you wanna make sure that you choose a contractor that has that NABCEP certification. It's gonna give you that higher level of confidence that they're going to be able to handle the technical complexity of your solar and storage installation. And then finally, the sixth question you need to ask is, what are the warranties that come with the system? First, we wanna know what are the installer warranties? Now, a good installer will give you a warranty typically for 25 years, that guarantees the power output of the system, but you also wanna make sure that they're giving you a workmanship warranty as well. That includes not only the electrical wiring, but especially the, includes the waterproofing around all the roof attachment points. Now, right now, I would say a good workmanship warranty would be five years or more. Now, backing up the installer warranty should be a solid manufacturer's warranty. Now, pretty much all tier one solar panels offer you a 25 year warranty on the power output, but some offer a service warranty as well, or a labor warranty as well. Meaning that in the event that the contractor that did the original installation is not available for warranty service, the solar panel manufacturer, or in some case, the inverter manufacturer, will hire at their own expense another technician to come out to swap out a defective component for you. So make sure you check your manufacturer's warranties as well. So this has been a discussion of six key questions that you need to ask your solar salesman before signing the contract. Uh, guys, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that we have on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way as new videos publish, it'll come up on your feed so that you can stay up to date. You won't miss anything. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner and you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a couple of quotes, you need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal. As always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. And of course, if you're looking to set up financing for your solar power project, and you wanna work with a financing partner that you can trust, check out Climate First Bank.
Uh, you can use the link below, climatefirstbank.com slash surge, where you can apply online and get connected with an approved installer in your area right away. Now, remember, with Climate First, they never charge any dealer fees, no prepayment penalties, and they give you the option to make a pay down and re-amortize the loan, meaning that if you have a chunk of cash that you want to apply to the balance, whether from the solar tax credit or from other sources, you can apply that to the loan balance, keep the same term, but lock in a lower monthly payment. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.